probably the biggest change in 2021 right here this huge backup camera and huge screen on the 2021 Lincoln Nautilus. Hey, I'm Jonathan Sewell Sales and Mitchell Lincoln on the Boulevard in Enterprise, Alabama. And I'm standing with this beautiful 2021 Lincoln Nautilus. This is the standard, but oh boy, does it have a lot of luxurious features. Let's jump in. More, more, more. More car vids. More, 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 more car vids. Let's get started up front. So uh, not much changes on the outside from 2020. And again, this is the entry level. This is actually the 101A, and we'll talk about some of those differences in just a minute. But um, they did kind of redesign this bottom lower uh, bumper, uh, but very hard to tell. Of course, uh, going back to 2020, when they eliminated the select, so you have the standard, the reserve, and the black label. So this is that standard. And then the 101A adds a few more things that uh, you know we may not have had on the previous Premier, uh, if that would be the case back MKX days. So here we are. Of course, it's beautiful, pristine white. You have the big Lincoln Signature grill right here, big emblem up front. And of course you have the Lincoln embrace and approach elements with this LED strip here and also LED turn signal. Just uh, very snazzy, very updated, a lot of good technology and material. Uh, one of the differences of course is the 18 inch wheels. These are actually the uh, upgraded wheels that you do not have on the 100. So the 101 upgrades to these. These are actually the standard wheels on the reserve now as well. So 18 inch wheels, Michelin tires, good ride, a lot of cushion. And that's what they're focusing on on the Nautilus is a comfort driven ride uh, since they have discontinued the sedans. This is all about comfort. So as we look at this uh, Nautilus emblem and badging right here, no changes as we come across. Of course you have uh, nice color keyed uh, mirrors with this LED strip right here. Also have the blind spot monitors as well. And uh, of course with uh, Lincoln's, you have the uh, touch and unlock. So all four doors you can touch and open uh, when locked. So that's a great convenience, pa uh, convenience item. Also, as you'd expect back here in the back, you have a power lift gate on every Nautilus and a rear backup camera, of course. Two interiors are offered. Uh, this one happens to be the uh, lighter of the two, the tan. And so you can see a couple of things here. We still have these uh, push buttons here to fold these down, uh, which is again, something carried over from the MKX days, cargo net. And of course, here's your spare, uh, which is uh, a little bit different styling than what we are accustomed to. However, the spare is actually uh, optional now, as we've seen with the Corsair. So that is the optional. Uh, we elected to have that spare put in. If not, you just have a, a tire sealant. So, um, you know, try to cut back on weight and other things. So that may be something that's important to you. It would be to me. As we continue around, uh, let's just take one peek. I love these Lincolns, see that? How it lights up all the way around this strip. So it definitely uh, allows people to see you at night. And I love how the exhaust is built into the rear bumper. And of course, this has your rear sensors for parking aid, which is just fantastic. So um, let's talk very briefly about uh, the engine underneath and then we'll jump inside. As you expect with Lincoln, everything is uh, covered 
for noise. So you have a big shroud right here. Also all these nice little rubber gaskets to keep all the noise down. Rubber gaskets here, keep it all inside this area and out of the cabin so that you have the luxurious ride that you want. Also, we've got sound dampening materials up here. And uh, of course, even around the front here of the uh, hood. So everything's designed to be as quiet, as clean, as possible so you even this engine cover is a pliable material but uh it's it's just you know kind of not form fitting as you see some of the uh, other engine covers it's just a big uh, foam piece to absorb that noise and keep it quiet so that's what we want when we're driving luxury you do of course have your clear fluid container so you can see the levels of everything and um the Nautilus continues with two optional engines. This one is a two liter EcoBoost, uh, so it is turbocharged. As you can see, some of the big air intakes back over here and some of the controlling system for that turbo. Um, the two liter gets 250 horsepower and uh, is, is right in the hunt on zero to 60 times with all the competitors. And of course, you can upgrade to a 2.7 liter, not available on this model, uh, but you can get a 2.7 liter on the reserve or of course it is uh, part of the black label as well so you uh, have to have all-wheel drive and that's something that's changed in 2020 but if you want a little bit more oomph you can go with that 2.7 uh, and uh, pick up a six cylinder but this engine right here is more than enough for on the road driving and uh, 250 horsepower is uh, not too shabby for a two liter and the fuel economy is there also so what we're waiting for lies right back there. Let's drop this hood and jump inside for the big changes of 2021 in this beautiful Lincoln. Okay, here we are on the inside and this looks pretty familiar, but what's over there? Oh my goodness, 13.2 inch new screen. And we'll come back to that in just a moment. What we really need to focus on now is just how everything looks a little bit different, stepping out for a minute. So we've uh, changed some of the interior uh, door uh, materials. And we also, like I said, have just two colors available, but uh, the seats are the same, the rear seating's the same. What's different is all up here. So the cockpit has been redesigned and it's very, very nice, very, very updated, and puts it more in line with the other models, uh, of the other Lincoln models. The only thing, in fact, that has not changed is this wheel right here. So uh, that could be good for some that like something a little familiar, could be bad for others. So let's just break this down. Of course, you've got a power liftgate button here. You've got your auto on off uh, headlights, automatic traction control button and of course you can control the brightness of this big lcd screen here stepping back inside just talking about some of these controls here you have your cruise control settings here settings display music phone for everything up here and how do i engage the car how do i start the car we're used to the old system, which I'll give you a flashback here, how they were loaded on the sides, all your controls is that built-in screen. And you had just this left side over here to change the gears and crank it. Well, now we've gone to the piano key look as everything else, but this button's even a little more unique than what we've seen in other um, Lincoln models. And that's because there's not space up here with this huge screen to put a push button. So they've built it into the piano keys, which is very nice. Also the aesthetics, we'll turn this on in just a minute, but the aesthetics look very reminiscent of the Corsair and the Aviator up here. So looking really good. They've changed the material around uh, the controls here. And thankfully, if you remember, the old button was just a push tray and way back when that design came out, it was very flawed because people tried to pull it, push it, do different things. A lot of warranty claims on that. Well, now we just have this covered system, which is uh, some that we see in other Lincoln models as well. And you're updated to a USB-C and a standard USB. So you have a little bit of options for other 
vehicles or excuse me, other technology items, other phones that use those things. Also, the cup holders have changed as well. So this is, uh, again, a little bit better system all the way around. Still the same two-tiered, two-button uh, console right here. And uh, I'm just excited about this. Not only is it a big screen, but it's a Sync 4 system. And we'll talk about that uh, as we crank it up here. So again, hit this button, crank her on up. Easy exit and entry seat pulled me back up. Let's just cut out some of the noise and I'm gonna, oh, I don't own the rights to that music. So let's turn that down and let's uh, just turn down the air for a second. just to keep something circulating here. So here's our Sync 4 system. Now you'll notice a couple differences and I'm gonna do a video uh, in the next few days or next week, a little bit more uh, in depth on this. I just wanted to show you a few things. The first thing of course is you have your audio and notice over here you have your map. So the 101A does have the navigation which is connected nav that's built in, built in connected nav. What that means is you've got three years of this being connected, I believe, through the modem system. So it uh, will predict your path and learn and become uh, more of your nav instead of just a system nav. So this is kind of like our home screen from before where you had that home button in the top left. However, I can, uh, when I go to navigation, and take it up, it flips over here to my audio. So you still have some open windows available and you can change those. So if I've got a phone paired, I can go from there. So you can kind of do that on every screen. So here's the first time we've, or not the first time, but we clicked over here to the connect and nav. It's saying, hey, we're uh, active and we can deliver map updates and predict your likely destinations based on uh, learning your uh, driving areas there. Of course, we still have phone this is a new button for favorites we can add some different things you can see all in there for um audio sources phone list kind of all in one messaging email you can still add some apps and it pulls up here for carplay and android auto then you have settings in the settings menu one thing that you'll notice when you take delivery of your 21 nautilus is the owner's manual is built inside here so you no longer have a paper owner's manual it's with you wherever you go, even if you wanna clean out the old glove box over there, it's it's right here. So it takes a little while to, to load up. You've got uh, search or visual search and then some other things, including videos and multiple languages in there. So I think that's uh, uh, way beyond what I was expecting with this new Sync 4 system. So a uh, lot of stuff, like I said, I'll, I'll break into this a little bit more. Uh, this is showing the up and down that, hey, this is connected. And you do have uh, uh, insignia or on the glass over here saying it's connected Lincoln, connectedlincoln.com. So if you have any questions, you can look that up on that website. So let's just pop back here in the back seat. I'll put that other seat that I let down back up and we'll check out a few things. And then we'll wrap it all up on this beautiful 2021 Lincoln Nautilus. Coming in the back seat, again, this is the same seating that we're accustomed to. You do have this lever back here for a little bit of recline for more comfort. And I just love the seat designs. They give you a little bit of room. Of course, this one came all the way back when I turned it off. I still have good room back here. Have my own vents. And you can see some of the uh, changes or some of the upgrades here. I've got USB and a USB-C right here for me in the back seat. And then a regular charging point there. And of course, as we fold this down, you'll notice that the old cup holders that shot out of the armrest is gone also. That was another item that was uh, uh, warrantied more often than not. So they just got cup holders built in here on this uh, standard model and uh, very comfortable seats back here. Love the plushness, the perforation, just very nice. And um, you know, you can get comfortable in a Lincoln for sure. No doubts about that. I think we'll all agree. I have my own little maps back here or map lights, not maps, map lights. And they're pretty neat. So let's check out the outside of this beautiful Lincoln Nautilus. 
Here is a full side profile of that 2021 Lincoln Nautilus. Went ahead and locked it down so the mirrors are folded in. Uh, still reading me here with those LED lights, as you can see, lit up. And it's just a beautiful color. The pristine white or color combination, the pristine white and the tan is one of the most popular and accented with the chrome effects, the uh, aluminum wheels and the optional roof rails, satin roof rails up here. Just very, very nice. And uh, we'll have to jump into the reserve next week and show you all those upgrades. But for this to be a entry level, well, standard is that huge screen. So very nice and a very comfortable ride. I'm Jonathan Sewell Sales at Mitchell Mazda and <laughs> Mitchell Lincoln on the Boulevard in Enterprise, Alabama. If you have any questions and comments about this beauty, you can drop them down below or call or text me at 334-718-0504. I can't wait to see you in a little bit of Lincoln luxury. And 2021 just gets better and better in this Lincoln. <laughs>